Righto, Cameron. No one seems to be able to get hold of Cameron Smith. Have you heard from him? Yeah, he was at training the other day. Um, he's still getting ready. Um, obviously had some time off. Been in the Gold Coast, nice luxury house on the water, so he's been doing it tough up there. But um, he came actually yesterday, first training session, so um, we're obviously a couple of weeks away, so he's going to get himself right, and um, yeah, well, you'll see him in the storm year next year. How, uh, how did he go with Cooper Cronkett training? Um, yeah, he was obviously really good. Um, they obviously get along really well, so um, yeah, pretty excited to see them two go head to head again. Does he return your text messages, Cameron? He won't return anybody else's. Um, yeah, actually, funny enough, he uh, messaged me um, probably about eight months ago. So, um, yeah, it's been good to catch <laughs> up with him. Uh, in all seriousness, how did the storm cover for the departure of one of the all-time greats? Yeah, it's going to be tough. Um, not only on the field, um, he brought so much calmness around the group. Um, obviously, with the captaincy, he's been there for, what, 15, 16 years, and he's the only captain I've ever known. So, yeah, just the way he holds himself off the field. Um, so... Yeah, he's going to be sorely missed, that's for sure. Um, we've got some good young talent coming through, obviously Harry Grant and Brendan Smith, so they'll fill the void there. They both play representative footy, so I'm sure they can take the void, but um, he'll be missed around the game, just around the team. Um, just that morale, just the standards he holds on the, off the field and, and the way he holds himself when he does talk, everyone's listens. So, yeah, it's going to be tough, but, um, yeah, obviously Jesse, Dale and myself and the leadership group need to obviously take a little bit from Smithy's... Um, mental and, and put it into our own game but um, yeah we're obviously not going to be the same as Cam Smith but we just need to make sure that we um, perform really well on the field and it'll go from there. Do you think we might see him at another club? Um, yeah oh, look it, I wouldn't put it out of the question. Um, I think there's a new rule going around where obviously he's a million dollar player so there's a bit of cap space at the Titans and, and the Broncos so I think he might be getting paid for six months which is not bad for him so yeah I'm, I'm sure one of them clubs will Obviously, it'd be really great for him. Um, this, the, this the level head and this the experience he's got. So, some of them young players around those two teams, um, they're very up and very up and coming and very got a lot of potential in their game. So, if you can see them in the right direction, I'm sure they'll go really well. What about another one of your old sparring partners, Craig Bellamy? Mm -hmm. Is that right? When you come back from the 2017 Kangaroo Tour, he got you in the office and showed you a photo of John Daly. <laughs> uh, that was a 2018, uh, actually, yeah, it would have been the 2018 preseason at the end of the year, so yeah, 2017. Yeah, he just showed me what I, I looked like um, at that stage, which was probably about 100 kilos. Um, I think I played at 90 that year, so yeah, it was a good uh, off-season. What, uh, what did he say to you when he, when he showed you that? Uh, I don't know if I can really tell you what he said. Um, there was a couple of swear words involved, but um, he just told me I was pretty much a fat <laughs> fuck, so um, yeah, that was pretty much, that's what he said, so um, yeah. It hurt, it hurt a little bit, but um, obviously when I looked in the mirror, it wasn't lying. Is it conversations like that the reason that you've got such a great rapport with him as your coach? Yeah, for sure. Um, he's up and down. He's very honest. What you see is what you get from him. So, um, yeah, he'll, he wears his heart on the sleeve. And if he's got something wrong with you or he's had a bit of a problem with you, um, he'll tell you to your face. And he doesn't beat around the bush, which is what I like. Uh, what's he going to do? Is he going to remain with the Melbourne Storm? I hope not. I hope someone else picks him up. <laughs> I've had a gut full of him in his pre-seasons. Um, I thought I'd be able to play until I'm 34, but um, I might be retiring after this year, to be honest. <laughs> what about the speculation uh, around his future? Could that be a distraction in the Fettingham department for, for the group? Yeah, look, oh, obviously, new generation coming through. He might feel like he might be, his time might be up, but I still feel like he's still got a lot to give to the game, even if it's a mentoring role if for our club or what other club he decides to choose. He's obviously got his uh, daughter up in the Gold Coast and he loves going back to Coolangatta. So, look, I wouldn't put it out of the question if he goes to a Queensland team. I uh, wouldn't put, put it past him to go to a New South Wales team either. So, look, whatever he decides, I'm sure the, the club and the, and the coaching staff will back him 100%. And he's done so much for this game and so much for our club. So, I guess um, if he decides he thinks that he can't give any more to our club and wants to try a new challenge, then all the best to him. Um, obviously, he'd be sorely missed for, from the players and he's so like much respected from our team and and other teams around the game. So look, it'd be disappointing, but it is what it is. How much of a challenge is it for you as a player now that all those big guns that you came through as a young bloke with, Cameron Smith, Billy Slater, Cooper Cronk, have all left the Melbourne Storm and now it's your time to lead? Yeah, look, it's going to be a tough task. There's no doubt about it. I've obviously been cradled and, and babied all the way through my career with them three. So it hasn't been a tough time for myself. So I feel like um, my career is just starting now to be a little rookie. So um, yeah, I'm really excited for it. Got some young, young, Faces in the team, they're very hungry and they make me want to be better. And um, yeah, I feel like I'm old at times when I'm around them. So um, yeah, it, I just feel like um, I'm really excited and can't wait to play some football. Um, 
But yeah, hopefully I might have to go to another new club, maybe, and just get cradled again. Maybe the Roosters. Is that <laughs> you're the king? Is that unfinished business for you though? Like, is that something you've you, well, you've won comps, you've played for Australia, you've yep. won Origin series. You haven't won a Clive Churchill medal, but you've virtually done everything else in the game. Is this now the next frontier, leading this team that people are maybe starting to have a few question marks about? Yeah, for sure. I guess it'd be nice to obviously um, take this team in the new gen um, through the competition and, and keep this legacy going with the Melbourne Storm. Um, it'd be nice to tell my grandchildren or my kids um, that I was one of the players that decided to keep the legacy going through the Melbourne Storm when the big three left. So it'll be a good little prayer, little moment for myself that I'll be able to tell. But um, like I said, the big three have done so much work, so much hard work that no one really saw away from the game. And, and that's something that we need to do. If we want to be the best, uh, we need to work hard and, and work on our game. And that's just going at training and being consistent. And, and that just goes through my performance. And if I can keep doing that, I'll take the question marks away from all the critics. That doesn't sound like you're going to the Roosters. Um, oh, if, they, if Nick wants me, then... <laughs> <laughs> the phone's on. The phone's on, Nick. Um, <laughs> no. Um, but no, nah, I'm just excited just to see how this next gen goes and got Harry Grant and Brennan Smith head button for that nine jersey, so it's going to be a good time. Ryan Pappenhausen, is he capable of unseating James Tedesco as the best fullback in the game? You started your career as a fullback. Uh, 78 kilos, yeah. Um, now 98? No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, look, I'm really excited to see what Paps is going to bring. Um, he's had a great couple of years. Um, no one would have expected Paps to excel so well early in his career and um, yeah, I guess he's in a great system um, and he's got good players around him when he had Cam Smith around him. Um, so, look, it's going to be um, tough for him. Um, everyone always talks about second year blues and um, I'm sure he's going to work entirely hard on himself and, and his game and work with Billy. And there's no better player than to obviously learn fullback from as Billy Slater or James Tedesco. So, it'll be a tough one. Um, I'm sure them two will be obviously going to be headbutting it for the, the um, blues jersey in the next probably, what, six to seven years. So, it'll be exciting times for Paps.